Assassin's Creed Valhalla introduced a brand new system for its side quests that revamped them into world events. In the Viking epic, you can recognize these encounters by the little glowing blue spots peppered throughout the game world. Mosey into the vicinity and you'll often come across some conflict, charismatic NPC or curiously unusual goings on that require Eivor's deft touch in intervention. Or just her smashing her dual wield axes through the problem that usually does the trick. There are loads of these world events to experience, but we thought we'd round up five very funny world events that you definitely don't want to miss. Number 5. Leicestershire Sauce Did we pop this one up at 5 because it's hard to say? Yes, a little bit. But it's also a really good example of Valhalla being willing to put its very serious story aside to have some fun. If you're a fan of food that tastes good or words that are hard to say, I'm betting you've come across Worcestershire Sauce at some point. That's it, right? If you haven't, not to worry. It's basically a condiment created in the city of Worcester in England in the early 19th century. Of course, Valhalla doesn't take place in the early 19th century, but there's absolutely no reason that should get in the way of making a good joke. Enter a side quest obtained along the northeastern border of Leicestershire. Here you'll happen upon a frustrated chef cussing himself out for his inability to make his invented condiment tasty enough to bear the name of Leicestershire sauce. I cannot for the life of me strike the perfect balance. He reckons that eel might be the answer to his problems and not one to turn away any fetch quest large or small, Eivor decides to go fish one up. Once you return with the slimy seafood and pop it in the brew, he offers you a taste. And it turns out, it's still really, really bad. <coughs> Not quite there. Oh, Lord. Defeated, the man decides to be on his way to see if another kingdom holds the secret ingredient to making the perfect sauce. Of course, he elects to move to Worcester, although he adds he'll be, quote, buggered if, if I'm going to name my sauce after that poultry place. And the rest is history. Delicious history. I don't really like that sauce. Really? No. You even have a little bit and it's good. It's like in a spaghetti. Don't worry about it. Number four, Degolus the Beautiful. There's one thing you'll learn pretty early on in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and that's that most problems can be solved by picking up an NPC and dropping them in water. And luckily, Ivor never skips arm day. This next world event goes that way, but not before you've had to get a couple of other unappetizing things taken care of. Venture southeast of Ravensthorpe near the Roman ruins of Grantabridge Shire, and you'll come across a mother and son using language that would make a sailor blush. You're doomed to choke in father's house. It's kind of fair enough, though, because the two have been forced out of their home by a stench that the child claims is from the devil. Of course, it's not really the devil, it's his crap dad who coats arrows in cow dung. It probably doesn't help that he also refuses to wash. You burst into the house to remove the dung crates, all while taking very real poison damage from the once lovely family abode, which at this point should perhaps have been burned down. <coughs> the kid says he's had it and that change is in the air. Literally. He takes you to a pond overhang on which you see his crap dad, Degolus. He yells to his offspring that God told him his, quote, heroic odour is what gives him his powers. You and Ivor aren't having a bar of it though and luckily he stood on a breakable platform. So you take that out and give him the involuntary bath everyone was waiting for. Oh, my Michael, no! He says he's not happy to be leaving behind his life as a, and I'll use his words here, a degenerate mud ball, but I think he's been outvoted on this one. Yeah. Number three, the wound wants of friends. Full disclosure, this is the quest that I came across and wanted to make this list about because once I saw it, I wanted to tell everyone I knew about it. A lot of the best humor in Valhalla isn't delivered in grand comedic bits or stand-up routine-esque jokes. Instead, it's Ivor's deadpan responses to the bizarre situations she encounters that end up being the most entertaining. Also in Granta Bridgeshire, you can happen upon a Norse warrior named Axehead, who's having a much worse day than you. It looks like he's just chilling out on a log, but get a little closer and you'll notice an axe is firmly implanted into his skull. Only the man doesn't seem to be aware of it. I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? Ivor tries to be diplomatic and says there appears to be a scar, and the warrior says that makes sense since he was recently in a battle. Do you think it is a serious wound? It's then up to you if you want to tell him, oh god, yes, you have a full-on axe in your head, dressing is not going to cut it, or if you want to tell him, it's just a flesh wound. Unfortunately, pulling it out does kill him pretty instantly, but he says he appreciates your candid response and will prepare himself for the next realm. Now, you rejoice. Number two, have you seen this man? 
If you've played Valhalla, then there's probably a good chance you made a move on Petra, you old sly dog. So when she asked for help to find her lost brother, I'm pretty sure you were keen to impress, you old sly dog. Petra and Wallace work in the village together, so it's unusual to see them apart. On this particular day, he was due back in town after buying goods elsewhere. Not to worry though, you're on the case. You and Petra head out of town towards some old Roman ruins where you discover Wallace's tools and clothes discarded next to a knife, some blood, and a very unfriendly boar. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. This is all pretty disturbing, but then things start to get a little blurry, and Petra bolts away, insisting she's seen a mystical white elk beside the ruins. It was there! I saw it there! I mean, I thought we were looking for Wallace, but yeah, sure, let's just go chasing Petra around the countryside. You old sly dog. Petra! Where are you? You start running behind her, and then things really get weird. You also see the elk. It's suddenly night time. You address the elk as Lord, and he starts telling you about how sweet his elk life is. Oh, I eat, I sleep, I frolic, I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. The English accent bearing elk disappears and everything goes red as you're faced with dozens of combatants out of nowhere. Petra and Eivor find each other again and it becomes very clear from Eivor's slurring and Petra's newfound ability to teleport that something is amiss. No, no, no. Too far. Too far. Once you're done hacking away at invisible wolves while Petra tries to ask the rabbits for directions, Wallace finds you. He tells you he'd set up camp, settled down to eat, and accidentally ingested funny mushrooms. He went a bit nuts, and yes, pretty much the same thing happened to you. Sure, the two wind up a little embarrassed, but there are certainly worse ways for Eivor to spend an afternoon than on a mushroom trip with a girlfriend. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. Maybe we could do it again. Without the mushrooms. We could. But I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission. Number one, Eivor the Sheepdog. If you've spent any time at all watching viral videos, and I'm guessing you know about Fenton, the Labrador with a mind of his own and a penchant for chasing deer. Luckily for me, at least one Ubisoft dev had also seen this video and decided to reference it in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Head to the heart of Sussex and you'll hear a man screaming out, Fenton! Fenton! Jesus Christ! Much like Fenton's owner in the original video. Fenton! Oh, Jesus Christ! Fenton! In this case, though, Fenton is a sheep beset by wolves. In yet another case of Eivor being a friend to all, Eivor makes short work of the beasts and whistles for the sheep to follow her back to the owner. Keep up, will you? Upon your return, you'd expect Fenton's owner to be presumably overjoyed. But as few things in this game go to plan, he calls it a Willy git and promptly kills it off. At least he gives you some mutton for your trouble and Fenton's reign of terror is over. Fenton was a royal pain in my ass. Those are the quests in Valhalla that had us chuckling, but if you've got some of your own, be sure to leave them down in the comment section. And for more hilarity where you're welcome to laugh with or admittedly often at us, be sure to subscribe to our GTV ANZ YouTube channel where we have new videos going up every Friday and we do live streams every single Tuesday. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of our shenanigans, giveaways, explorations of our favourite UB games and everything in between. Fenton! It's good, right? It's, it's so good. Really, it feels just good to get it off the chest. It doesn't get off. Give it a go. Fenton! Oh, I love it. That was too sweet. Was oh, sorry. Fenton! I'll work on it. <laughs>